come and go. Mm. No, but I don't want to do it. Sure, but I mean, sure. every film you see, which has got a great cast and famous people in it, is directed by. Harold von Christmas. I did some shots the other day of a model who had really awful hands and a beautiful face. And I was put off by this hand scene. I could go to a photographic school and they could teach me the techniques of photography inside three months. Good pictures, I could produce adequate pictures. Well, I don't know about your taste. You see, photography is all, it's all to do with taste. I mean, whether it's good or bad or indifferent. I mean, at least it's a taste or a viewpoint. The faces haven't anything to do with what you are, really. I mean, you're just born with them. Of course they don't. Of course they don't. But the fact is, this woman was a professional, a model, who I was photographing because she was great looking. And she turned out to be... She, she turned out to be marvellous looking visually here and everything else. But these huge, great sort of Frankenstein hands spoilt the scene. A perfectly ordinary picture which somebody can't afford to get developed bigger, which I took, say, of mummy and daddy standing arm in arm. That blown up and put in a neat black frame and printed in the Observer Colour Supplement. Everybody says, what? You know, with wide-angle lens, a bit grainy, a bit David Montgomery around the edges. No, but and it's just, it is just as good as a picture he's taken, except that because it's David Montgomery well, no, mounted no, and no, printed... No, no, that's, that's talking a load of rubbish, yeah, if you don't mind me no, um, Well, I know a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't care who you know, dearie. You're still talking a lot of rubbish. I'm doing well, you're not listening to what I, I say. I'm saying, saying that there are you many say. people, there are many <laughs> photographers whose job it is to be a photographer and who therefore work at it full-time, they're not just weekend photographers, who can produce pictures which are as good as the pictures which are printed. Is somebody who looks evil more likely to be evil than somebody who isn't? No, I mean, I find the most evil pe looking people, for instance, like Bailey, turn out to be angels in the end. The Zoroastrian circle. <laughs> 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 no, you're wondering about oh, how evil you, know, I think it's so great. you look. Oh, I don't think you look evil, and she thinks you look evil. I used to be evil. An interest. Also. But then you didn't look evil. No, I don't know. When I was evil, when you were evil, you didn't look evil. No, but then you wouldn't be evil because you're giving it away. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah. Cheers. Well, thank you all for coming. It's so great of course. Yes, you are. <laughs> I must be older than any... Uh, yes, you are. Yes, you are. Here, here. Clough looks the eldest and is, in fact, the youngest. Please delete. What? <laughs> Just press the 30 tape. <laughs> <laughs> no, his, young, his youngness comes through in his conversation. Oh, God. <laughs> Why do you Why do you You're trying to stir it up, Betty. I can see I'm that. not. You're trying to stir it up. I mean, I'm trying to be nice. Yeah, <laughs> it's work, you know. You're not. I'm trying to see that girl there.